Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WooCommerce video series. In this video, I'll show you how you can create a pre-order product in a WooCommerce website. If you want to launch a new product on your WooCommerce shop, you can make this product available for pre-order on your WooCommerce shop. So before launching it officially, you can make this product available as a pre-order. So this will help you create a hype about your new product launch. This plugin has a free as well as the premium version. So we will first install the free plugin and we will see how the pre-orders can be created in WooCommerce website. Later, I'm going to install the premium version and I'll show you what is the difference between the free and the premium version. So let's see how does this work. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips, and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website and I'm using the WooCommerce on this dummy website. Now we are going to install a free plugin which will help you create a pre-order product on your WooCommerce website. So let's go to the plugins and click on add new. And here search for pre-orders for WooCommerce. And this is the plugin that we are going to install pre-orders for WooCommerce and it is developed by Bright Plugins. So let's click on install now. This plugin has free as well as the premium version. So we will start with the free plugin. Let's click on activate. Now let me show you the website of this plugin. This is the website. If you want to buy this plugin, I'll give you the link in the description box. If there is any discount coupon available, I'll mention that in the description box. Pre-orders for WooCommerce Pro and you will see all the features of this plugin. Build a high campaign that keeps customer interested in what's coming. You will see some different scenarios quick and bulk edit pay later for pre-order so it will allow customers to place the pre-orders for products without making the payment at the time of purchase customer will receive an email with a direct link email notification for both users and admins fixed payment gateways and all these features are available and this is the pricing it will cost you 99 dollars per year for one site you will get one year of support and these are the other plans so let's go back to the website and it is enabled now in the left hand panel you will see the option bright plugins and here you will see pre-order settings let's go to settings and these are the basic settings of this plugin pre-order modes here you will see order only pre-order products are available ones so these are the settings on the actual checkout here you will see treat the entire order as a pre-order it is available for the pro generate a separate order with all pre-order products so i'll show you how does this work this is the status name this is the button name and display the available date on single product page. So these are the basic settings. We don't need to make any changes here. Now let's go to products and click on add new. So we will create one pre-order product here. And I'm going to name it as pre-order demo one. So this is the name of the product. This is just a dummy name. And I'm going to add this description. And let's go to short description. And here I'm going to set the price. Let's see the price of this product is $50 and the sale price will be $40. So there is a 20% discount for this product. And here you can go to inventory and under inventory, you will see this option pre-order product. So if you want to create this pre-order product, you need to check this box. Check this if you want to offer this product as pre-order. And this is the pre-order date. Choose when the product will be available. So let's say today is 11 here i'm going to select 16 so this product will be available on 16th of october so this is what we have mentioned here i do not want customer to buy more than one item in one order here you will see stock management let's say i have 20 products so i'm going to set 20 products so 20 products will be available or it will be in stock all right so these are the basic settings for the pre-order and here i'm going to schedule this sale price sale price will be from from 11 to 15 so from 16 the product will be the simple product it will not be marked as pre-order and there will not be offer or the sale price all right so we have set the sale price for this particular date now here i'm going to select one category for this product let's say this one and i'm going to select the image product image so let me select one of the product images let's select this one set the product image and let's add the gallery also 
All right, so we have got gallery images. Let's publish it. And let's see how does this look. I'm going to open the product. And this is how the product will look. This is the name and this is the pricing. And this is what you see here, pre-order product demo one. This is the short description available in stock, 20 in stock. All right, so it is not showing anything in the free version. Now, if, if I want to buy this product, I can simply click on pre-order now and it will get added to the shopping cart. You will see it is added in the cart. Now, if I go to cart, you will see this message here. This item will be available for shipping in four days. So after four days, this will be available for the shipping. Now, if, let's click on proceed to checkout and you will see the checkout form here. So customer will be able to buy this product. Now, what you can do in the free version, in the short description, you can mention when the product will be available and there will be discount within this time period. So I've got this information here. Let's save it. And let's view the product. And you will see that information is here. We have added this information in the short description. That's why it shows here. This product will be available on 16th October and there will be 20% discount on pre-order. So this is the pre-order product. And after 16th October, there will not be any discount. All right, now let's go back. Now, whenever someone makes a purchase of this product, it will show under the orders. I do have the pro version of this plugin. So let's go to the plugins and install the premium version. Click on add new. Let's click on upload plugin. I have it downloaded, so I'm going to install it now. Click on activate plugin. Now let's go to bright plugins and click on pre-order settings. Now you will see completely different dashboard for the premium plugin. These are the general settings, pre-order modes. As I said, all these options are available now. Pre-order transition status. So choose which status should the order be set after the pre-order date passed. Right now product date cycle, it will be in stock so once the pre-order is finished on its date cycle the stock status will be automatically changed to selected status so it will show in stock you can simply go through these settings these are pretty basic settings now here you can show the shipping date allow customer to choose a desired shipping date so they will be able to select the shipping date also and display the available date on these pages enable pre-order badge so you can show the pre-order badge and here you will see badge position after title before title so leave it as it is disable payment method so if you do not want any one of these payment gateways you can disable them from here pre-order pay later so they will be able to pay once the product is available so it is like booking the product before it is available so admin notification customer notification let's go to the next option that will be text and labels so these are the labels email templates so you can customize the email templates under emails you will see this option from here you can customize the content of this email all right and this is the license key now let's go back to the product and i'm going to refresh this one we have one product in the card i'm going to delete this product now we are back to the pre-order page we are not going to make any changes here now here you will see some additional options are available pre-order date override label so you can override the label and pre-order extra fee if you want to apply extra fee you can add that here and pre-order stock status you will see the stock status global pre-order stock status in stock out stock all right now let's update it let's go to product page and let's refresh it now here you will see this badge that is the pre-order badge if i go here you will see the badge this is what you see here if i if you want to change it you can change the content and here you will see available on october 16 before in the free version it was not available this text was not available so we did that manually we added the content manually in the short description but in the pro version you will see that option here now let's add this product and let's go to cart and here you will see this option this item will be available for shipping in four days now let's go to dashboard again 
and here under WooCommerce you will see new option here pre-orders so all the pre-orders will be shown under this tab if I click on it it will open the pre-orders so if someone makes a purchase it will show the pre-order in this tab here you will see all the pre-orders now if I go to products you will see this pre-order date for this particular product because this is a pre-order product and it will show the pre-order date for this product under the products option so this is just a short introduction to this pre-order for WooCommerce plugin. There are many different features that you can add to this pre-order product. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section. And press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching Quick Tips.